Hi guys, welcome to the channel, general love reading for my friends Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for February 2021. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a Celtic cross. I will guide you through it. Let's see what we can get for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, February 2021. Let's see. And here we go. So, current situation, judgment energy, challenge, seven of pentacles, crowning energy, five of cups, core of the situation, the moon, past energies, six of swords, future energies, eight of cups, approach to the situation, ace of pentacles, energies around you, page of pentacles, hopes and fears, Page of Swords and the possible outcome, Five of Wands. Another page, bottom of the deck, the Page of Cups. So, three pages involved in this flow. The pages for me can be awkward and goofy, as you may know, but just because they need to go through the experiences in order to raise their level, still they deserve attention because they may have something important to say, to share, or to offer. Um, the way in which uh, these offers, these um, messages, these um, expressions are manifested uh, can be possibly a little bit different from the expectations. And then we need to evaluate uh, what to do with them. This seems kind of the point with this flow of energies uh, because some type of an apology is involved. I would say it can be even sincere but there are a couple of energies that uh, cannot be ignored. So guys, uh, current situation, judgment energy, this is a revelation, a realization, a major uh, understanding, some type of an awakening even, because uh, it's a divine truth offered to those that are open to receive it. But this is also an energy that can find roots in the past. So this can be some type of second chance. Something that uh, may require a certain amount of time and patience. But this can also be an unexpected interaction and a reconciliation is truly effective, I would say, only if the two persons involved are into it at the 100%. Otherwise, it is just a label, you know, just a word. This seems the scenario. With a touch of patience involved, which can be a challenge depending on the desire to achieve or not the second chance. The man in the Seven of Pentacles has put in quite a lot of effort and now he knows that it's just a matter of time before he can reap the benefits and the fruits of the previous labor. As I usually say, patience is a powerful virtue. It can make all the difference. Uh, the point is about the the outcome that we desire if a person is looking for reconciliation um, can accept to be patient to see if the goal is uh, achievable 
but if someone do not seek reconciliation possibly the amount of patience that can be granted is completely different and maybe again patience has been put in previously things didn't work and now uh, we may have run out of patience and we may want to pursue different uh, roads crowning energy guys five of cups sadness and regrets about partnerships i would say because in other cards we see the four of ones at the two sides of the bridge you know meaningful connections at the very least but expectations uh, couldn't be met properly for whatever reason uh, but the figure is looking at the three cups spilled on the ground so things that didn't work um, kind of missing the point about the two cups still standing which can be something that can be manifested and pursued moving forward you know but the sadness the disappointment the regrets also about even the time and effort that were granted uh, are factors that can take a toll on those that may go through this type of energies and experiences this is one of the two energies that uh, i was looking at before the other one is this one that are concerning me about the um, real desire to reconcile in this flow of energies the moon at the core of the situation is um, an interesting major arcana makes a lot of sense considering the judgment because if this is a major realization it means that the moon has been dealt with properly this is about the unknown um, things and factors that are yet to be discovered yet to be revealed there is a fear factor also with the moon because we need to dive deeper into the understanding of something that we are not exactly comfortable with something that may be a little bit different from what it seems um, something that can be a pattern that uh, creates struggles and overwhelming feelings for example but we can find um, major answers if we are brave enough to dive deeper into the comprehension of the moon energy this can be an inner process and if it is a matter of a reconciliation this energy goes with the consideration that we need to kind of look at ourselves in the mirror and ask ourselves what do we want to do with this second chance let's say do we truly want it are we willing to uh, work things out properly uh, what is the point of view of uh, the other person are they all in and so forth these type of questions and we need to be honest uh, about the answers you know otherwise um, otherwise we may run the risk to face again the disappointments in the past guys uh, six of swords energy this is a quiet way to move forward we live behind rough waters pursuing calmer scenarios more in alignment with wishes and desires following the general meaning of the card this energy is related to the scenario that can see a um, major uh, patience factor already put on the table on the table before kind of trying to avoid the uh, petty fights the meaningless interactions the discussions 
trying to uh, uh, keep the connection um, quiet. It seems that this type of approach, which is quite mature, I would say, uh, didn't exactly pay off previously. That's why the patience may truly have run out. This is a meaningful factor. And in the future energies, we see the Eight of Cups, which is a brave decision. Because this man is willing to leave behind Eight Cups so that he can pursue his own ultimate emotional fulfillment. He wants to go for the Nine and Ten of Cups, basically. The moon that we see at the core of this spread comes back in the background of the Eight of Cups. It grants the proper depth to the decision of this man. He is ready to go all out on an adventure because he was brave enough to dive deeper into the understanding of what can be left behind and what can be found moving forward. It can be a risk, you know, but um, who knows, high risk, high reward. He is willing to take the chance. This is the point. This can be the fool, for example, ready to take a leap towards the unknown, but it may be the best possible thing. This will depend, guys, on your uh, situation basically on your scenario if these energies are for you so brave decision to embrace what the journey may have this is an energy that uh, will not go for a reconciliation you know approach to the situation ace of pentacles this can be an energy that can go two ways this can be a major offer that is related to the apology that I was mentioning in the in the very beginning of the of the reading. You will have to evaluate if this can be the second chance, let's say, because the Ace of Pentacles is a brand new beginning, stable, grounded, reliable, trustworthy, uh, a new way of life, a new way of doing things. We have a gateway to power through, pursuing new horizons. So, if we are pursuing a second chance, deep evaluation, we decide to avoid the leaving behind of an unfulfilling situation. The apology is sincere, is truly felt, this can be meaningful. And it may even come in a simple way because the page of pentacles can be the better of this ace that's why i was saying that we need to evaluate how gestures and even acts of kindness considering the page of cups are presented you know they can be simple but extremely felt and honest and so they deserve attention but if they are not felt well, possibly the approach changes, you know. On the other hand, this can be a brand new beginning in a completely different direction. So no reconciliation in some sense, no second chance. The man will embrace the journey. This can be the high reward that he can find. Pursuing new horizons. Energies around you guys, the page of pentacles. Well, it's kind of related. Uh, you will have to evaluate this type of approach. It can be simple, it can be easy, even casual, depending on how the connection was for you, you will have some type of openness to listen to what your person may have to say to you and vice versa, meaning that you will have the chance to uh, express your opinions if you desire to do so. But this can also be the approach that some of you may take by embracing the journey and the new adventures. 
The Page of Pentacles is the most diligent between the four in the deck for me. He wants to learn as much as he can so that he can be better and better. And we can learn by going through the experiences. And this man will have the chance to learn new things by going for an adventure. And this can be a mindset. Hopes and fears, guys. Another page, page of swords, an energy of communication. I'm kind of leaning towards the fact that this is not uh, a desire, but more a uh, fear. Let's call it fear, but... Mm. For example, when we interact with a person that can be meaningful for us, but we recognize that they are... Um, they are vibing in a way that um, can be, I would say, superficial, considering the expectations that we may have. So it's a matter of perceptions and uh, percep per perceptions and perspectives. Yes, because it's kind of like mm, they may not be able to um, grant the proper importance, the proper uh, serious approach to something that can be meaningful for you, but if a uh, disappointment or several disappointments uh, were involved before, possibly we are, not sh we are not so sure that they can be avoided moving forward. And it makes sense with the Five of Wands, guys, possible outcome. A noisy and annoying energy for me, the Five of Wands. I usually associate to one of the Alicia Keys songs that uh, is straight to the point for me. People keep talking, they can say what they like. But this can be the type of uh, interactions that you may have experienced. Kinda rough waters in the Six of Swords energy source for disappointments, something that you couldn't understand before. And now, what if the second chance bring, brings this type of energies back? Because there is confusion, there is indecision in the Five of Wands, opinions, a lot of um, confusionary exchanges. This can even be an energy about inner conflict. Because uh, doubts can, uh, can be a factor within a confusionary way of dealing uh, with a connection. This is a challenging situation, guys. Uh, I will be completely honest. Um, it all comes down to uh, how meaningful was the connection and how deep is the desire to try again it is what it is but this eight of cups is um, quite prominent as something that can be more than an idea considering the future energy's position the exchanges with your person the one that may ask for a second chance are extremely simple they can be sincere but too small and we may um, find ourselves in the too little too late type of scenario exchanges of opinions may be involved but if some of you uh, have the perception that some type of ace of pentacles opportunity is waiting for you in a different direction the judgment will work just as a divine trumpet to encourage some of you to pursue the Ace of Pentacles in a brand new adventure and this will not be a second chance. This is the point, guys. We'll see more about the Five of Wands. Guys, I will leave it at that. I hope it was helpful. I'll continue on Vimeo. See you there. If you want to join me, the link is below. If you resonate, let us know. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.